6,300%. Now that was a pretty big number that caught my attention, and immediately I had to wonder, what was it about? Well, it was in an article from the Parents Television Council. Now that's a nonprofit organization that helps educate parents about TV content. And what they found, now this is an amazing thing, 6,300% increase. Well, increase in what? Nudity on broadcast television. That's an amazing statistic. Here's what they found. There was one incident of full frontal nudity on broadcast television last season. In their study, they found that this season, there were 64 documented full frontal incidences this season on TV. That's a 6,300% increase. Now, those are pretty small numbers, but, but can you imagine that? Have, have you noticed that on broadcast TV? Now, you might say, well, it's not on any of the programs I've watched, and yet, does it have an impact? One of the directors for communications for the PTC said this. He said, it didn't surprise her. They've been aggressively increasing the amount and explicitness of sexual content, nudity, foul language, and violence in prime time offerings. And what is that an indication of? What does it show about our culture? Now you might say, oh yeah, yeah, on broadcast they, they pixelate it so you don't really see the nudity completely. You know, it's almost like um, w when you hear curse words, you know, they bleep it out. But do you know that there's been a curse word there? No doubt. Oftentimes, you can't help but fill in the blank. It's interesting that psychologists have found that's basically what happens even with those pixelated images. There's a Dr. Nancy Irwin out in LA, a therapist, and you know what she said? She says that the brain fills in the blanks. Whether it's bleeped out curse words or pixelated images, our minds work in that way. You know, that is an amazing indication of where we are in society today. I couldn't help but think of 1 Timothy 4. And in that section of scripture, it talks about the times that we live in. It talks about these later times. And it talks about the aspect of our thinking, how we give heed to deceiving spirits, wrong ways of thinking, wrong ways of looking at things. And without even realizing it, it can impact us. How often times have you had the TV on and, and something objectionable comes on and you end up watching it all the way through? Should we be doing that? You know, what's our reaction to that? Have we just taken it in without even realizing it? And then it's over and here it's already in our brain then. It's impacted us. Well, Timothy was told by the Apostle Paul that we've got to get rid of that out of our thinking. We can't even allow that to become a part of the way that we think. He says we're to reject the profane. You know, when something like that comes up, we've got to change the channel. We've got to have that remote ready so that we can turn it off immediately. In fact, Timothy's told that that's the kind of exercise that profits us, not just taking in any old thing that's on TV, but be ready to exercise our senses. He says godliness is profitable for all things. And so we've got to be ready to exercise. Sometimes it's just exercising our thumb and turning off that television and being ready to exercise ourselves, as Timothy is told, to godliness. So let's be prepared and let's not allow any of this 6,300% into our homes and into our minds and into our families. That's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.